Ready? All right. Cool. Welcome to Party Line on this Thursday edition. We're glad to have you. And we have a guest in the studio today. I want to introduce you to author uh, Robin E. Bremer, also known as, uh, could I say, mm -hmm. Ribbons the Clown. That's right. Robin, good to meet you. feel like I know you a bit now after reading your book, and that's how it works, isn't it? it it's fun, too. That's, uh, that's how that goes. So you have a book called Feed My People Joy, Kingdom Living for End Times. And it is uh, quite interesting about that. I mean, it is certainly, um, um, what is the word I'm looking for? It's not just a, uh, a, a religious book. It's not just a Christian Unique. book. There's a lot of instruction going on in there. A lot of scripture, a lot of uh, leading people to victory. That's the goal. Okay, leading people to victory. All right, so tell me, now along those lines, tell me when someone says, Robin, what's your book about? Um, it's about how everything about God is good. Everything about God wants victory for you in every part of your life, in your finances, in your health, in your home, in your family, in every part. God is a good God and He's working for you. And it's all about stepping into the kingdom, the power and authority He gave you, and creating heaven on earth around you. Okay. And for others. And she talks about it well, too. So, and I see a, a, as uh, uh, the cover of the book actually shows a picture of you as, uh, well, <laughs> like I'm showing this to you now, like you didn't know. Ribbon's like, the Clown. Uh, Ribbon's the Clown. <laughs> right. And I think I have seen you perform somewhere before. How long have you been doing Ribbons? Uh, about 18 years. Eight, oh, I think there's a good chance. I should say how long have you and Ribbons been, been running around together, I suppose. <laughs> well, I've been in this area only about 10 years. Oh, yeah? Where yeah. did you come from? Um... <laughs> I forgot for a second. <laughs> uh, from lots of places. I think, yeah, Texas was the state that we lived in before then. Okay. And uh, performed there as well. And you're now out of, uh, I believe, in the, you know, not you follow. Where are you? No, I'm from Wetumpka area. Wetumpka now. So One of those hard Wetumpka. names. <laughs> Wetumpka. And hey, we, I'm, I'm a native. I can remember Wetumpka. <laughs> Okay, so uh, the book is called Feed My People Joy. Is this your first book? This is my first book, but not my last book. Oh, so she has other ideas. So where did the uh, where did the inspiration? Well, this is going to be pretty easy, but so I don't make an easy question. <laughs> uh, when did you start working on the book, and how long did it take, and what brought it on? Well, it's really unique how it started. I minister in clown in different churches, and as I minister, or as I clown for people, my motive is to show them the joy of the Lord. And I had come across uh, people that want to pray for them to be healed, and they'd have questions. So I'd write a little book that would answer all those objections and questions why they thought God didn't want to heal them. Mm. And this situation kept happening in different areas. So I created little booklets. And these little booklets, uh, in the process of time when God allowed me to, I put them together. And then the last six, not in the book, but six of the last chapters were written in the last six months. Wow. Now, see, and I can kind of see that as you, uh, as I was beginning to read, I could see that those were kind of starting out as, as questions answered and right. such as that. That does make and some sense. And each chapter, you can read each chapter alone, and it'll stand by itself. I mean, it'll give you so much information and so deep of teaching um, that can change your life that it, if you just add on each chapter, it just adds on more information, but each chapter is life-changing by itself. And I can see uh, the reason you say that, and a lot of folks uh, will understand me when I say, you can't turn to a page anywhere in this book. You cannot open a page that doesn't have a scripture on it. That's right. And, you know... The, more than one, usually. Yeah, more than one, because I like to... It's not my opinion. It's, it's backed up with the Word, because the Word is truth, and the Word is what changes people. Not my um, history, not my testimony of how, what Jesus did for me, but the Word is what changes lives and brings them victory. Now, the, the title interests me, and I'll tell you why, because a lot of people uh, throw the word joy around and not really understand a lot about it, but you're saying, Feed My People Joy. Well, tell me about the title. The title came about about 15 years ago. God gave me a prophecy, or what you would say is God spoke to me and said, as Ribbons the Clown, that my job was to feed his people joy. Because um, everybody thinks that God's sitting in heaven with a hammer and a pitchfork ready to hit you in the head or poke you on your back if you do something wrong. And that's not at all how God is. He, he wants to bless you. He, I, I don't even know if I should use that term. He just wants to give you everything that you need and desire because he loves you so much. That's nice. And so nice. because he told me to feed his people joy and and laughter is a a way of showing joy, 
that's how the title came about. I struggled with it quite a while, and he said, just, that's what I told you to do. That's what the book is all about, the joy. Okay. <laughs> okay. So if you have a question, audience, you know you're welcome to call on Party Line, 918-423-1460, or toll-free, 1-800-477-3327. Now, let's get in a little bit more deeper here in just a moment. I want to tell you, before we take a break, I'll tell you what I'm going to look at. Tell me how Ribbons the Clown was born. <laughs> and and tell me what she has to do specifically with the book, okay? So right. she's on the cover. I realize uh, that uh, that uh, ribbons has a lot to do with this, obviously. Well, well um, no, hang on. That's just a teaser question. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a teaser question. A quick break. We'll be right back, okay? <laughs> Don't go away. Welcome back. We're talking with Robin Bremer, uh, Ribbons the Clown. The book is called Feed My People Joy, Kingdom Living for End Times. <laughs> And um, we're going to tell you where you can find it and where you can find excerpts and information. As a matter of fact, Robin may even read for us here in just a moment. But the questions I asked before break was, tell me a little bit about Ribbons. Where did she come from? Ribbons the Clown. Well, Ribbons was created about 18 years ago. I was in a store waiting in line with birthday money to buy something, and I saw balloon animals. So I said, I'm going to try them. So I was waiting in line, and this lady behind me saw it, and she says, Oh, are you a clown? And I said, no. And she said, she was. So she took me under her wing, and she she taught me how to make balloon animals. She made my very first puppet, Nicky Monkey, which now I have a, a different one, a professional one. But she made Nicky Monkey, my first puppet, and she loaned <laughs> me a bunch of books, and she got me excited about clowning. That is neat. And you decided to uh, kind of, uh, Ribbons is, uh, as you say, does kind of minister work. You go to, mm -hmm. you go to churches and events right. like that, right? Right. I do uh, street outreaches. Nice. I go in the street and uh, tell people about Jesus. I uh, go under a canopy and sell balloon animals and give them a coloring page that tells them about how Jesus loves them. And then I go into the churches and I actually minister uh, or work more with adults than children. Okay. Everybody, because I'm a clown ventriloquist, puts me in with children, but actually I'm to be in with adults, and I'm like the main church service, and it's all about uh, joy and the goodness of the Lord, and I use puppets and balloons and sometimes juggling and singing. I'm a terrible singer, <laughs> and um, so I can torment them, sing opera, and so I use that variety, a lot of audience participation, and within that is woven the Word of God, and they might not even realize they're hearing it. Uh, tell us where we can find the book and information on you. Well, you can order the book at Christian bookstores, and um, they will order it for you. And you can order it at, uh, like, Borders or something. But the fastest way to get it and the least expensive way to get it is through, like, Amazon.com. Amazon.com. Or now, we have listeners who don't have Internet, too. Okay. So. And, well, they can get, I was going to say they can get on my website, but if they don't have Internet, they probably cannot get I on understand. my website. We have snail way to go, to go every once in a while, don't we? Right. They can um, go to my website, which <laughs> they can't go to if they don't have internet. Okay. They can call uh, my business phone, which is 405-584-1579. I will hang on to that. I've got it right there. And um, they can order it and give me the information. If they have access to the internet and they want to get it through me, they can pay through PayPal or whatever on my website. But it is fastest to get it um, through Amazon or ZulonPress.com. Okay. And well, Amazon, you know, I think most of us have heard of that one, so it's right. easy to get to. And actually they can read about 30% of it free on Smashwords.com. Interesting. Now if they go to the web page, they can find all this information. On, my, me, on my website, yeah. Tell me the web page. And, um, it's uh, ribbons, R I B B O N S, the clown.com. Ribbons, the clown.com. Exactly like you think it would be spelled. Right, right. Ribbons, and the clown they, there's a trailer on there that talks about the book uh, that you can watch. I have uh, th Ways to Witness. I have all kinds of information. Free teaching. Uh, I have five chapters on there free uh, that they can download. Well, I have to ask if they go there as well, if they're interested in ribbons coming to visit their church organization, do you uh, you have contact information right. there for them? They um, also, if they have like want a birthday party or something, um, or have an event, there's prices there. Cool. Uh, but like with churches, I don't have a set fee. However, they're led to give and outreaches, whatever you know. But all you the said, information's there. You're not really uh, geared toward children. You you speak to adults. Right. But I do a mm -hmm. lot of. I end up doing a lot of vacation Bible school and. Um, ministering to children too but I'm so more it's more like family oriented is really okay. what I'm called because I'm a ventriloquist and a clown and I like ventriloquism that's cool I can't do any of it but I love to watch it love I, to watch it I'm my mouth isn't as good as Jeff Dunham but I'm funnier no <laughs> <laughs> no I'm not funnier 